Well, hello there. Welcome back to another video update from my garden. Today is the day before Mother's Day and it's May 11th. And my last video was on May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. And so this is a week later and in between we had a lot of rain and we had a lot of warm weather. And now we're having a little bit of cool weather. Today is a break in between the rain and tomorrow for Mother's Day, it's gonna rain. And I had wanted to have a tea, like a Mother's Day tea in the garden, but I think we're gonna get rained out. But I'm out here cleaning it up and making it look pretty just in case, just in case we can come out here. And I'm gonna take a walk around but I just thought I'd do a little scan. We got some new things going on since my last video. And I just looked back at the last video and I can't even believe how much I got done in just a week. Now I haven't posted that video yet, but I will soon. I'm still dealing with no computer. Uh, my computer broke back in January and I haven't had a computer. So I've been just throwing myself into the garden because I was using my computer to build my wellness practice and create, you know, different things. So I took a break from that, but I'm doing stuff on my phone right now. So everything that I'm doing, it's a lot slower working with the phone, but it's still possible. I'm making do. So let's start talking about this. Look at these peas. They started flowering. You can see that there. Now I looked back at my videos from last year and they are a little bit slower this year. And I think it's because we had a late frost and even coming up, we have uh, anticipated temperatures going down to 39 degrees. And that's just crazy this time of year to have that cold. So we'll see how everything does. So I still gotta get some stuff in the ground there. But look at this, look at how much it's grown in. So beautiful. These are getting ready to open and these are getting ready to open. I forgot to put that back because I just mowed and I just did all the, the weed whacking there. And now I got to make my way into the front yard and make that look nice. Uh, but I also did an update on the front yard garden and I haven't posted that yet either, but I will. But you can see here the yarrow is starting to get yellow now. And the calendula, calendula is just taken off. I've been harvesting that. And the uh, mullen is getting its rosette. Look at that. And so many irises, they're falling over now. But we just had a lot of rain, so they're just all drooping. But you can see the foxgloves. I still haven't cleaned out this area and I just ran out of time because I'm having company tomorrow for Mother's Day. So I'm just trying to run around like a maniac. It's been such a busy weekend because we had prom this weekend and that was exciting. Two girls going to the prom. Oh, this area, since last my last video update, this area really has grown in. In one week, take a look at this. Look at these greens. Now, I, of course, like I said, I'm having company tomorrow and I'm making a big green salad and everybody's gonna go home with uh, lettuce tomorrow because look at how much spinach I have there. And my tomatoes are really growing fast. So I gotta, I gotta harvest all the kale that's in here. And over here we have mustard and that's all mustard there. And then look how big the tomatoes are getting. And there's kale, more tomatoes, more mustard. We got turnips there. We got broccoli in the back. Oh, wait do you see the other broccoli. I gotta show you that. And then over here, more spinach, more mustard. Look how big everything is getting. So we've had very favorable weather. We've had the right amount of rain. Look at there, just getting ready to open. And so I did, I decided that I'm not gonna buy anything more this year because uh, I was going to buy grapes to put on here. Uh, so this year I'm going to try growing tomatoes. This is a lot of my extra plants that I have that I just put here for prom because we took pictures out here. We had people over 
So I wanted it to look really nice. So I put all my extra plants in here, but I also have mixed in here tomatoes. So I'm gonna grow tomatoes up the trellis this year. And then next year, maybe I'll invest in the, the grapes. But then I also did this section over here and we have cucumbers right here and watermelon right there. I was gonna put the watermelon over there, but I'm gonna put cantaloupe over there. And this, I just opened this up now. This is gonna be pepper paradise. And um, this is pepper paradise one. And then when I'm ready to do that area, that'll be pepper paradise two. And then, so over here, we've got delicata squash and acorn squash. And then there's one more trellis that's gonna go up over there, full sun. And I've got some other things to put over there. And then I also made this really cute sitting area here. So you can sit there and look out at the garden. And then I, I sit there and I, I plan my stuff and I do research and, and all kinds of stuff because I'm creating a file for each, well, I have a file and I just add to it for every, everything I have growing in the garden, I have a file for. And then every time I come across a bit of research, I add to that file. And then every time I get a chance, I pull out my files and then I read it and so that I can learn because there's so much to learn about plants. And this, I identified that wrong in the last video. That's a uh, dame's rocket. And I think I call it like lady's thumb. But, so just wanted to make that correction there. And so over here, we got some beans already coming up. I feel like I just planted these, look at that. And actually in the last video, they, I think I did. So they came up within a week. So that was all new in the last video. And then I've got other things in there, other beans. And then we've got so many strawberries coming in. And all the peonies fell over in the rain. Boo hoo. And we, in this bed, we got a little bit of everything. Oh, and in that other bed, I forgot. I also have radishes in between in that other bed way over there. And then in here, I also have radishes. So we're gonna have that in our salad tomorrow as well. And so you can see here, this is a lot more greens and there's the big fever few right there. And we got a blueberry bush right there. Let's see how that's doing. It's doing great, lots of blueberries. All right, so let, oh, and I got some blueberry bushes here. Doing super good. Let's look at this over here. Oh, look how beautiful this is. This is blackberry. Oh, there's gonna be so many. I can't wait. And beans. I got beans coming up. Oh, the uh, pill bugs are eating them. I gotta figure something out with that. And of course, we already saw the peas. And look at this broccoli. This broccoli has grown so much in a week. Look at that. It's absolutely stunning. Look at this bed. So we got some more greens for our salad tomorrow. And the mizuna is going to flower, but that's okay because it looks beautiful. And you can see over here that sage, sage is flowering. That's absolutely beautiful. I just love this. Like I, I can't get enough. This, this makes me so incredibly happy and joyful and every positive word you can think of when you have like the distraction of an airplane ahead but that's even okay when you're in the garden looking at all this stuff it's like nothing can bother me this is definitely my happy place look at that lettuce like somebody tomorrow is going home with a head of lettuce so it's going to be right from there let's go look at that look at that lettuce like wow that one looks nice maybe i'll give that one to aunt barb See if my dad will eat some of this. I don't think my mom will eat green. My mom will eat the broccoli when the broccoli's ready. It's almost ready. Look at this, isn't that beautiful? All right, so one last look around. I guess I'm kind of standing in the middle. It's amazing. I made a stunning visual ecosystem for my wellness recovery. And living with a life of pain uh, this was really the only way that I could exist is to be able to have all of this to look at. I mean, even out here, I, I did some research and I found out 
why this was occurring, but when I'm out here, I don't even feel pain. And then I researched and I found out it's because when you're doing something that you enjoy or in, in nature, when you, especially in nature, it releases endorphins. And the endorphins are the feel-good hormone. That is the feel-good hormone. Uh, just like dopamine and serotonin. And all of those are released when you're out in nature. And if you're suffering from anxiety or depression or PTSD or pain, um, this is a great natural holistic pain management um, therapy that you can do, ecotherapy. And it um, also acts as a natural, uh, the, um, the endorphins that are released in your body also act as a natural pain reliever. So I want to just show you this area over here. Now that's, that's, if you're wondering what that is, that's the trellis that we're going to put up the final one. I think we're going to do it tomorrow. But here's all the rest of my plants that I have. This is what's left. So I wanted to make like a little walking path so that I can go around and see what I have. And then I've got a hodgepodge of all kinds of things right here. Look at that. Isn't that mysterious looking? That's bronze fennel. Now the sun is just going down, so we're losing light, and I've been talking for way too long. So I'm going to leave the video here, and I hope this inspires you to try ecotherapy or gardening as a way to de-stress and manage life. Come back into balance. Here's my doggie. Hi, doggie. Even she loves being out here. All right, so until the next video, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.